So I'm spinning the potentiometer, and we're dimming and brightening up the light. And also, as he spins the potentiometer, we're also rotating Scratchy. And this is from Mr. Y's S2A underscore FM routine. There's some of the, uh, the code over there with the Python web server running back there to send the commands back and forth. We uh, set, an, set a variable just to keep track of our pin because in our original program when we were just blinking the light on and off um, we were using a non-PWM pin and when we switched it we um, created a variable for that. Um, analog pin 2 was where we had the potentimeter plugged in and then for the dimming of the LED we had to put it in pin 11 which was the closest PMW we didn't have to put it on the breadboard we just uh, stretched the pins out to fit from ground to 11 right straight on the Arduino here's the code out of the example program reading the analog pin 2 for the potentimeter value now that's going to give you a value between 0 and 1024 minus 1, so 1023. So I was used to the Arduino function map from uh, the Arduino IDE. So we just recreated that function here so that we could use. I don't believe Scratch lets you have a block that returns a value. So we came up with this return value and set it. Um, we added the round as the Python script was throwing errors uh, when we were sending it floating sending it floats when it was expecting integers so we needed that round there so here's the map basically it, it takes the numbers between 0 and 10 24 and gives them to us between the degrees of the circle to spin scratchy in and then we spin scratchy we just did a little minus 90 just so that scratchy points in a little bit more intuitive direction and again, we did the map again for the dimming of the light, so between 0 and 255, which are the values that the light expects. Um, we hit this bug here with having an analog right inside of a forever. There was some sort of bug either with Scratch 2 or something. It was in one of the documents. So we made the broadcast. And then when we made the broadcast, we were having trouble with our return value that the broadcast was sometimes getting the return value from this map and sometimes getting the return value from that map so we sp explicitly created a new return just for the light and we dim the light anyway hope that helps somebody somewhere have fun with your arduino and scratch <laughs>